हेलो एवरी वन आई एम डॉक्टर स्मृति त्रिपाठी फ्रॉम अप्लाइड साइंस एंड ह्यूमनिटीज डिपार्टमेंट अजय कुमार गर्ग इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज गाजियाबाद टूडेज वीडियो लेक्चर इज ऑन स्टेटिस्टिकल टेक्निक्स वन दिस कम्स अंडर मैथमेटिक्स फोर के ए एस थ्री जीरो टू और फोर जीरो टू इन दिस टॉपिक टूडे वी विल डिस्कस कव फिटिंग फिटिंग ऑफ आर स्ट्रेट लाइन fitting of exponential curve and fitting of second degree parabola now what is curve fitting so whenever in statistics we have a data set so we then find to get a relationship between the variables of the given data set what do we do with that relationship of the variables from the given set data set from that we find an exact relationship between the two variables or you can say we find an equation between x and y if there are two variables x and y so we find the relationship between x and y now this relationship can be polynomial exponential or logarithmic now why this relationship is required because it has a lot of uses in the study of correlation and regression as well as if any one of the point of y is to be find out from the specified value of the other variable then we can find the value of that other variable y or x now let's try to understand the curve fitting by the method of least squares there are four methods of curve fitting one is graphical method another is method of moments and a third one is method of group averages and the fourth one is method of least squares in today's lecture we are discussing least square method so how does this least square method works let's try to understand here i have taken a scatter diagram what is the meaning of a scatter diagram if we have a data set like xi and yi it means we have some values like x1 x2 and up to so on xn and similarly we have values y1 y2 and up to so on y n for y so for each set each value x1 y1 x2 y2 we can draw this point somewhere in this plot so you can see let us suppose i have drawn here x1 y1 then it could be x2 y2 and then the third one is x3 y3 and this way i have drawn all the end points all the end points now if we see see carefully these all the points are more or less going or have been plotted in kind of a stream line all the points we if we see carefully these are stream lines or you can say in one line so if we want to give a general idea that what kind of curve between y or x we are getting between y and x we are getting so we can in general say that it is a straight line but still we do not have the exact straight line which best fits all the points what is the meaning of best fit of all the points it means all the points lie on this a straight line but this is not happening so then wh what do we do for getting this exact straight line which best fits the these data points so for that we take the distance or you can say the this distance from point and line the distance between this point and the distance of the point from the line so we get distance of all points from that line 
and what do we want to do we want to minimize this distance from the line so that it can be said that it is best fit let's see how do we do that so let us assume that we have given points of data are x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and xn yn in which all xis are independent variables so obviously all yis are dependent ones also suppose that fx is the fitting curve okay it means that the fx is the equation of the line fx gives us the equation of the line which we can say fx is equal to y is equal to a plus bx if there is a line which we are getting a general idea like this one like you can see we are getting all the points in a straight line near about to a straight line then we can have the general idea that the points can be plotted as a straight line or the best fit of these points is a straight line so if we take a straight line then fx will will be y a y is equal to so because we know fx is always y it is equal to a plus bx or if we are having some exponential graph or we are having some second degree parabola graph then the same becomes fx is equal to and the equation of that particular curve okay now as i told you that we want to minimize the distance of each point from the line which we have to best fit so always let us see that always there is an error because if this line best fits these points then these points must satisfy the given straight line but there are you can see many points which do not satisfy this straight line so it means we are having some error between this point or and the best fit line or we can say we have some uh, distance between the point and the best fit line so this point because these are the observed values these are not the calculated values so we can say that these values are observed values and the same point if we plot the same xi on the line then in that case we get this value and this is called as calculated value because if i put because if i put the value of x1 in the best fit line then we will get some other value so this value can be said as observed value and this value can be said as calculated value so for one point we get error e1 and this is equal to y1 minus fx1 similarly there is another or oh, many points there will be many points and for that we will get error e2 y2 minus fx2 e3 y3 minus fx3 and so on en is equal to yn minus fxn now as the method method says we want least square method to apply so but when we will uh, take the difference of observed value minus calculated value it could be positive or it could be negative so we want to remove this positive and negative sign so what do we do we will do the square of these errors and then we will add these errors so let's see here i have shown the fitting of a straight line the method which i have explained here the same thing i am going to apply in this straight line fitting let us see how does it works so let us suppose we have xi yi where i goes from 1 to n and n be the set of observations of related data and y is equal to a plus bx be the straight line which is to be fitted now what is the uh, mean that the best fit or the straight line which is to be fitted because whatever line we uh, uh, write 
Suppose I am writing y is equal to x, then this is also a straight line. Or if I am writing y is equal to x plus 2, then this is also a straight line. So what do we actually want? What is the meaning of best fit? That the exact relationship. So this is a general relationship y is equal to a plus bx is a general relationship where the line can be any line. What we want? We want the exact relationship. So we want to calculate this a and b. So this is called the fitting of a straight line. This is a general equation and we want the exact equation which best fits our data set. So what do we do? Again the same thing as I have explained earlier. Error we get as yi minus fxi because each point cannot satisfy the best fit straight line. So what do we get? We will get yi minus a minus bxi because we have taken fxi is equal to a plus bx because we are fitting i straight line. So as I have already told you that because that this error can be positive or negative and we want to remove that positive or negative sign, especially negative sign. So what do we do? We will do the square of that error and we will add all errors. So when we will add all, all errors, we will get a new value. Let us say that new this new value is u. Then we will get u is equal to summation ei square is equal to summation i is equal to 1 to n yi minus a minus bxi whole square. Now, as the method says that the method is method of least square, then by the principle of least square, least means minimum and for maxima and minima, we always differentiate the given value here, the given value is u. So we will differentiate u with respect to a and b because here we want to find the values of a and b. So if u is minimum, then we will get del u by del a is equal to 0 and we will write del u by del b is equal to 0. It means we are differentiating this equation first with respect to a and then with respect to b and equating it at as equal to 0. So when I we will differentiate it with respect to u a, it will become twice of summation i 1 to n y i minus a minus b x i and because we have to differentiate this whole with respect to a again, this is minus a because of chain rule. So we will get summation a is equal to n a plus b summation x. Now here this how did we n a got because we should get summation y is equal to summation a plus b summation x. But whenever we add a n times like a plus a plus a up to so on a, then we always get n a. So that is why in equation number 1, we will get summation a is equal to n a plus b summation x. And we will now differentiate u with respect to b. When we will differentiate u with respect to b, we will get twice of summation i 1 to n y i minus a minus b x i. Now again applying chain rule, b will be differentiated with respect to b and the remaining will be minus x i and this is equal to 0. And then we will get summation x y is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square. So in this way, we got two equations. One equation is uh, uh, this one equation number 2 and another equation is equation number 3. Now you can see that for find the equation which we need to best fit was y is equal to a plus bx and this can be best fitted or can we can find the exact relationship if we know the values of a and b. And now we got two values, uh, two equations, second and third 
from using these equations second and third which are also called normal equations we can find the value of a and b because the uh, x values and y values are given to us so hence easily we can find summation a summation x summation x y summation x and summation x square so this was the concept of method of least squares <coughs> now let's see the working procedure the working procedure for the method of least squares in this we take the general equation let us suppose it is being said to us that uh, fit the line y is equal to a plus bx so this means we have to find the value of a and b by finding its normal equations now i will tell you here a shortcut trick without differentiation that how you can find the normal equation of the any given curve okay that is without differentiation so please uh, pay attention here we have a and b which we need to calculate now we will find the coefficient of a which is 1 here and the coefficient of b which is capital x here so what do we get <coughs> so um the uh, coefficient of a is 1 and the coefficient of b is capital x for finding the normal equation for um, the uh, curve fitting what do we do we will multiply by 1 in the equation and use summation or add for all the values so we will get summation y is equal to na plus b summation x in the uh, for uh, calculating b we will uh, multiply the equation by the coefficient of b that's what we have done here and we will get summation xy is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square on solving this we will find the values of a and b and we can get the line of best fit with the, for the y is equal to a plus bx this corrected here a plus bx so similarly i would like to explain you if we have another kind of line how to find the normal equation by using shortcut method so please concentrate here here we have to calculate or find the values of a and b what we need to find out for the best fit we need to find the values of a and b now what is the coefficient of a here is x and the coefficient of b here is 1 upon x i can also write for your convenience the equation like this so in this way if we write this equation we will get the coefficient of a as x and the coefficient of b as 1 upon x so again because we have to find two constants a and b so we will get uh, the two normal equations one is for a and another one is for b so what do we do we will first multiply in the same equation by x which is the coefficient of a so we will get xy and uh, so um, i'll do it for you it is y is equal to a x square plus b into x into 1 upon x so we will get y is equal to a x square plus b when we apply summation in this we will get summation this is x i have multiplied here so this is xy so we will get summation xy is equal to a summation x square plus nb and similarly for the another normal equation i will multiply the same equation y is equal to the given same equation ax plus b into 1 by x by 1 upon x so on multiplying by 1 upon x we will get y by x is equal to a into x into 1 upon x plus b into 1 upon x square and on applying summation we will get summation y by x is equal to summation a plus 
summation b into 1 by x square. So, we will get summation y by x is equal to n a plus b summation 1 upon x square. So, this way we will get this uh, normal equation which is for b. So, again uh, the for the given curve we have two constants a and b and we got by the shortcut method two normal equations and now we can solve these two normal equations and find the value of a and b. Now, let us understand that uh, from the example given here that how to apply the method of least square and find the straight line that best fits the following data. So, here the data is given x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and y is 14, 27, 40, 55 and 68. Now, as we have to fit the straight line as a best fit, so we will assume that it, the equation of the straight line is y is equal to a plus bx and you already know that if the equation of a straight line is y is equal to a plus bx, I will first multiply the, the same equation by the coefficient of a, the coefficient of a is here 1, so I will multiply by 1, so a into 1 plus b into x and now applying summation, summation y and this is summation a plus summation bx and the equation we will get summation y is equal to n a plus b summation x. So, this is equation number 1. And now, please find the coefficient of b here which is x. So, what do we will uh, we will do? We will multiply by x in equation number 1. We will get x y is equal to a x plus b x square and now on applying summation we will get summation x y is equal to a summation x plus b summation x square. So, we will get this as equation number 2 and this way we get these two normal equations. Here we can use it as we can take as m or n here n or m both are I will take here n both are the number what is n here? n is the number of data points available. Now, how many data points are available here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, n is equal to 5 here. Alright. Now, for the second equation, we need summation x, summation y and n. So, if we add these x, we can get easily 15 which is summation x. On adding these the values of these y, we will get 204 which is summation y. Now, multiply this x and y, we will get summation x and y and again on squaring x, we will get summation x square. So, you can see that for equation 2 and 3, we got all the values other than a b like summation y we got n we have summation x we have summation x y we have summation a summation x have and summation x square have. So, on substituting these values in equation number 2 and 3 let us see what do we get we will get this equation 204 is equal to 5 a plus 15 b and 748 is equal to 15 a plus 55 b. So, now on solving which is very easy for all of you because this is 10th equation, uh, uh, 10th class equations. So, you all can solve it and find the values of a and b here. After finding the values of a and b, we will put these values of a and b in the given equation y is equal to a plus bx and where a is 0 and b is 13.6. So, we will get this equation y is equal to 13.6 x. Now, let us try to understand how can we fit an exponential curve. So, let us suppose we have an exponential curve y is equal to a e to the power b x. So, it is very simple to take logarithm because we want to remove this e. So, as I have already told you that the curve fitting can be an equation 
इन एक्सपोनेंशियल लॉग अर्थमिक और एन एल्जेब्रियक इक्वेशन सो हियर वी गॉट एन एक्सपोनेंशियल इक्वेशन फॉर सॉल्विंग और द बेस्ट फिटिंग और अप्लाइंग द मेथड ऑफ लीस्ट स्क्वायर वी विल टेक लॉग बोथ साइड ऑफ द गिवन इक्वेशन नाउ ऑन टू टेकिंग लॉग वी विल गेट लॉग वाई टू द बेस टेन is equal to log a to the base 10 plus b into x because b and x are in power it is log e to the base 10 so you can see this is a linear uh, equation so i can say that this log a to the base 10 is capital a and this uh, b so this b i am choosing as small b log b to the base 10 so it means the cons coefficient which is with uh, x the coefficient which is with x i have assumed it as capital b and the uh, log a to the base 10 i have taken as capital a so this is the values where capital y we have taken as log y to the base 10 now when i got this equation y is equal to capital y is equal to capital a plus capital b into x we can again form the normal equation in the as an earlier example we did and we can easily find the values of capital a and capital b from these two equations after getting the value of capital a and capital b by the by the this relationship we can find the anti log and we uh, for um, for a small a value we can take the anti log and for a small b value we can take capital b upon log e to the base 10 and we can find the value of capital b uh, which uh, sorry i'm sorry small b find the value of small b and which is like this now let's try to understand the same uh, fitting of exponential curve with the given example here we have uh, a curve which we have to best fit and the given curve is y is equal to a into e to the power bx where x is given 1 5 7 9 12 and y is given 10 15 12 15 15 and 21 now as we know that the curve given is y is equal to a into e to the power bx we can take the log both sides as i have explained already we can take log both sides and we can convert when we take log it becomes log y to the base 10 is equal to log a to the base 10 plus bx into log e to the base 10 and where this log a to the base 10 is capital a and this b and log e to the base 10 is capital b it is already mentioned here and we will get the two normal equations summation uh, this equation number let us say it is equation number 1 and equation number 2 for finding the values of capital a and capital b what do we need we need summation y summation x summation xy summation uh, x and summation x square please keep it remember wherever it is written capital y so it must be capital y it means what is capital y log of small y to the base 10 so let's calculate the values here x is given 1 5 7 9 12 12 so summation x we will get 34 small y is given here 10 15 12 15 15 21 so we will calculate capital y which is uh, log y so we will get these values for log 10 log 15 log 12 log 15 and log 21 and we will get summation of capital y here and again we will square the x value and we will get summation x square here and here please concentrate here it is capital y so this is summation is small x into capital y now let us substitute all these values in equation number 1 and 2 and we will get 5.7536 is equal to 5a plus 34b and 40.8862 is equal to 34a plus 300b on solving these two equations we will get capital a is equal to 
0.9766 and capital B is equal to 0 0.02561. Now this is capital A value and capital B value but what do we need? We need small a and small b value. So for a small way we have to take anti log of capital A and for a small b we have to take capital B upon uh, or you can say for small b we have to divide capital B by log e to the base 10 and we will get 0 0.059. Hence the required curve becomes y is equal to a e to the power b x where a is 9.475 and b is 0 0.059. I have written here an example for all of you to solve. Please try to solve this question. Please keep it remember you cannot take log here because it is in the addition. The question will become very complex. So, please try to solve it. So, now let us try to understand fitting of a second degree parabola with the help of the given example. Now, here x is given 0 0.0, 1.0, 2.0 and, and corresponding y are given 1.0, 6.0 and 17.0. It is being said to us that to fit a second degree parabola. So, we must know the equation of the second degree parabola which is nothing but y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square. So, once again I have already told you the shortcut trick to find the normal equation and for that we need not to differentiate and uh, put the derivative equal to 0. We can directly find the normal equation by method of coefficients as I told you already. So, here we will check what is the coefficient of a which is 1. The coefficient of b is x and the coefficient of c is x square. I will multiply y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square by 1 both sides then there will be no change and we will apply summation then we will get summation y is equal to summation a plus b summation x plus c summation x square and I have already told you summation a becomes summation y is equal to n a plus b summation x plus c summation x square. So, we will get first equation of the normal equation like this. See compare with, with this here they have simply replaced n by m. So, we can correct it here. Now, what is the coefficient of b? The coefficient of b is x. When we will multiply x by both sides, we will get xy a into x, b into x square and c into x cube. Please see xy is equal to ax plus bx square plus cx cube. Now, if I will multiply summation here, I will get the same equation here. And similarly, the coefficient of c which is x square. So, I will multiply both sides by x square. We will get x square y is equal to a, a x square plus b x cube plus c x to the power 4 and we will get summation x square y plus a summation x square plus b summation x cube plus c summation x to the power 4. And here the number of variables are given to us is equal to 3. So, here I have taken everywhere n because I have explained you with the n. So, I have changed everywhere n. So, this is n is equal to 3. Now, please see very carefully. This is a fit, best fitting of or the curve fitting of equation of second degree parabola. If it is a second degree parabola, then the equation is y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square. It means we have to find out three constant for the exact relationship which is which are <coughs> which are a b and c so for three constants we need three equations and that is why we got three normal equations here now we will find the value of summation y summation x summation x square all the summation values substitute these values in equation number 2 3 and 4 let's see how 
I have made a table here. Here x is equal to 0, 1, 2. This means summation x is equal to 3. Summation y, this is summation y, which is given 24. This is summation, this is summation x square, which is 5. This is summation x cube, which is 9. This is summation x to the power 4, which is 17. Summation x y and summation x square y. So, we got the summation of x is 3, summation y is 24, summation x square is 5, x cube is 9, all the values we got. Now, I have substituted all these summated values in, in our normal equations, which were equation number 2, 3 and 4. So, now let us on substituting, we will get 24 is equal to 3a plus 3b plus 5c. 40 is equal to 3a plus 5b plus 9c, 74 is equal to 5a plus 9b plus 17c. On solving these equations 5, 6 and 7, we will get the value of a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2 and 3 is equal, c is equal to 3. Now finally, we got the value of the constants a, b and c which are 1, 2 and 3. So, on substituting these values a, b and c in the equation y is equal to a plus bx plus cx square, we will get 1 plus 2x plus 3x square. So, this was about curve fitting and the method of curve fitting by using method of least square. In this video lecture, we have discussed fitting of a straight line, fitting of an exponential curve and fitting of a second degree parabola. Please practice other questions also. I hope you understood it very well. Thank you so very much.